Hey, what's going on? Patrick Walsh in the Woods. Hey, Zed, this is my response video to your giveaway, so I thought I'd go over this really quickly. And uh, yeah, this is my kit that I bring out almost every single time. And, and yeah, it's done well by me, and I'm always improving it, as you say. And But for now, this is what I like to bring out. So I have a backpack, cheap backpack. Uh, bought at Princess Auto, 30 bucks. It's cheap construction, but it does the trick. Carries everything I need to carry every day, every time. In terms of cutting tools, I have a Husqvarna 26 inch forest axe. Uh, that is fantastic. I have a review on that. You can check that out on my channel. I also have a small hatchet as well, the same brand, Husqvarna. Uh, I carry a Mora companion knife. It's fantastic. Uh, everybody knows that Mora makes some of the best inexpensive knives out there. Uh, it also has a sheath that I made myself and has a belt loop as well. I have a tinder pouch which has uh, fire starters in here, uh, it has a lighter and it has uh, just various items that help me get a fire going. Also has a belt loop on the back as well. Um, I carry various sets of cordage just for various reasons, tripods, crafting, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter but it's always good to bring a little cordage so I bring a bit along the way. And relatively short pieces. Uh, I bring a pocket bellows obviously to stoke the fire. Fantastic. I love this thing. Uh, this is like a little mini first aid slash supply kit. It's got some extra cordage, a multi-tool lighter, batteries, um, a lip balm, headache stuff, an extra soup base, just general items that might come in useful in an emergency. Uh, I have here is my uh, pocket grill. made it myself. It was made from a a basket I bought at Walmart. I cut it, up, cut it apart, filed it all down. I've used this on steaks and just boiling water and whatnot. Hot dogs, you name it. It's great. Uh, super light. And I put it in this little stuff sack so that the ashes don't get over the backpack. Uh, bandana, fantastic. Uh, very light, good for wiping your nose, wiping the sweat off, maybe even toweling down a little bit. So multi-purpose, super light. Uh, you could go with a buff, but they're really expensive. It's not really kind of like if you're trying to keep this to a budget, that bandana is way better idea. An algae bottle, very tough construction, carries about a liter of water. I've had this for five years. Perfect. Perfect for just carrying water and perfect for heating up water and putting it in a sleeping bag on a cold night. Uh, you just can't go wrong with having an algae around. You can get other bottles, but you know, Nalgene's are pretty much proven to stick around for a long time. Uh, cook kit is my titanium kit. Uh, super light, two-piece kit, 700 mil pot with lid, and uh, probably about 350 mil uh, coffee cup. You guys have seen this in all my videos, practically you've seen it all the time in my photos on my Instagram account, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, pretty standard, great in the fire or on a grill or whatever. It uh, doesn't do the hanging version. Uh, I've resisted the temptation to drill little holes in this and making a hanging pot, but for now it's a great little kit. It goes together, comes in a stuff sack as well. Sometimes when I'm not making a fire and using the grill, I sometimes carry this guy. Uh, this is my basically wood gasifier stove. Uh, basically it's a DIY. You can get to find out how to make these on YouTube anywhere. It costs virtually nothing to make. And uh, it took a little bit of work, but once you get the idea down, it'll work just fine. You put that on top like that, and then just stick your pot on top of it like that, and you'll boil up water in a reasonable amount of time. It takes a little bit of work, you gotta keep on it, but that's the nature of the beast. This is great if you don't want to make a big fire, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you could cause a bigger fire, or you don't have a canister or anything like that to uh, to just boil up some water or cook a meal. You can cook on a, probably an eight inch pan on this as well, so uh, it's, it's very versatile. It's only about, a, I don't know, maybe half pound to a pound at the most, but it works great in terms of just kind of having a quick isolated fire and one side benefit is that in the summertime when the bugs are out, the little fire will actually keep a lot of the bugs away. So it's very handy. Uh, I also bring a coffee kit and a tea kit. Basically just stuff to make coffees and teas. Some are steeped, some are bagged, some are filtered, and some are prepackaged. And it just all depends on my mood. And I might have one or both or a little bit of everything or none. It all depends. But this, I just kind of keep this all in one area. And I throw in some other things like a spatula just in case I'm cooking. And maybe some hand sanitizer. Just if I'm cooking and I want to get cleaned up. The last two items on my list are canisters and a pocket rocket. These things are fantastic. I usually take these backpacking. But these are good 
for those day trips, you're out shooting a video, you're just trying to get some work done, you just want to get out and you just want to have a coffee or tea real quick. And the last thing I bring are Mr. Sniffles. Uh, you've seen these in a hundred of my videos. I bring them year round. They're fantastic. Uh, I get a runny nose like crazy and I hate it and it's just it's annoying. So I bring these along because it's a nice soft touch if I don't want to use my bandana. It's yes, it's a bit wasteful, but uh, it's a nice uh, addition to my pack. I keep it with me regardless of whether I use it. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. That's my kit. Uh, I'd like uh, to thank Zed for letting me have the opportunity to get into this subscriber giveaway. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, Zed, or anybody uh, about my kit or how I use it or the functionality or maybe variations, just give me a comment down below. Give me a like if you can. If not, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, best of luck to everyone that is, uh, you know, in this giveaway too. I'd like to see, hopefully I see a bunch of you guys out there uh, making videos because I'll be definitely looking to watch them if they're on your channel. So, again, thanks, Zed, thanks, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.